Connect East as the owner of Eastlink is really proud to be associated with the Eastern Footy League now for five years. Uh, we see this MeTech Association as taking the road safety program one step further. Well, we know that the 18 to 25 age bracket is overrepresented when it comes to the road safety stats. Um, so what we're trying to do is go one step further now. Obviously, the under-17s are a really important part of the EFL comp. And what we're trying to do is, pro is provide a program for them specifically. Um, we're really confident that the 18 to 25s are really well uh, look, looked after now. There's still the road safe program there. Um, but again, trying to get to them at an early age before they get behind the wheel for their 120 hours is a really important step. What we try to do is to give them a really good experience. We've got five kilometres of sealed closed road. Uh, we've got roundabouts and corners and hills and all the things you find on a normal road. The road is signed and sealed. The uh, white lines are down the middle and all the things that you expect. What we don't have, of course, is any traffic. So. It's a really good way for somebody who's never driven before or driven a little bit but really has only got the basics to come and learn those fundamental st steps that you need to do with safe driving. In the old days, people could um, go to their uh, supermarket car park when there was nothing much else happening, but nowadays they're all those most of them occupied 24-7. So it's a great area to do that. It's a safe and controlled environment with um, all the um, safety factors built into it. But it's also a realistic road system. Come here and drive, you, you don't need to have a learner permit. You'll meet potholes on the road, you'll meet roundabouts and intersections and all those things. If you learnt the proper way to do them, to, way, to manage them, to understand what you've got to give way, how you work round and round about. Those are real, really important factors to, to make it safe and sound for you to, to drive. So if you come away from here with those really fundamentals, um, what I sort of jokingly say is that if students come away with the ability to start, to steer and to stop, they've gone a lot farther than they might well have done with just trying to, to do it themselves. Provide a realistic um, environment for people to, to learn the basics. And I joke about having the odd pothole, but it's what you get on the road. So it, you know, it really does give them a realistic environment to, uh, to experience. We've got uh, a railway crossing, a, a, a lit railway crossing, so obviously we don't have a train, yeah. but we do have a, a railway crossing. So we've got an intersection here where you obviously have to come to a stop, which is what I did. We've got a, a rather uh, large sort of roundabout or island, in fact it's a big traffic island. Look, everything I've heard is absolutely fantastic. Again, when you go into a new program, there's certainly things that uh, we can change up for next year. Um, but what we're in encouraging clubs to do is to contact the EFL after the program, um, give us give us the good uh, you know feedback. Well, I think it's the parents that will probably thank us. Um, I know we've all gone through that particular process where we've stepped. Uh, behind the wheel for the first time. We've got our mum or dad that are actually next to us. Um, it can be a bit of a challenging experience, not only for the young person, but also for the parent next to them. So to be able to give the kids just a little bit of experience has to be a great thing.